Rejoice, fans! The Boston Red Sox have finally made a move this offseason. But it's not the one you thought it would be. This is breaking news for the Boston Red Sox and the CLNS Red Sox news feed. I'm Adam Blue reporting for CLNS, a leading online provider of audiovisual coverage of the Boston Red Sox. The Red Sox announced on Monday afternoon that they signed first baseman Mitch Moreland to a two-year, $13 million deal. So the Red Sox now actually have a first baseman, but it's not Eric Hosmer, who I really wanted, Jose Abreu, who I really want, or Carlos Santana, who also I really wanted before he signed with the Phillies last week. Can't say I or anyone else saw this one coming. The Sox made no indication during their quiet offseason that they would be interested in a reunion with Moreland, who spent last season manning first base in Boston. Moreland did post career highs in games played 149, doubles 34, and runs scored 73 last season with Boston. He earned the moniker Mitchie two bags with those 34 doubles, while finishing third on the team in home runs and RBIs after hitting 22 bombs and knocking in 79 runners. Moreland hit just 246 in the regular season, but was 5 for 13 with two doubles and four runs during the Sox ALDS series with the Houston Astros. The Red Sox' main priority in the offseason would seem to be adding power, and they've reportedly had their eyes on outfielder J.D. Martinez, who will cost them a pretty penny thanks to being represented by Scott Boris. Hosmer was also rumored to be on their radar, as first base was a glaring need for the defending AL East champs, but Monday's signing of Moreland would seem to indicate that the Sox will not pursue the former Kansas City Royal in free agency. Red Sox fans are praying that this is just a precursor of the bigger fireworks to come in the offseason. Of course, most of the fan base is still fixated on the signings and trades that the New York Yankees have made, and the Moreland signing was definitely out of left field, or actually first base, but I can't imagine that this would be the only signing or move that GM Dave Dombrowski makes. Who knows, maybe he'll wrap a big present to place under the Red Sox tree prior to Santa arriving next week. If he does, we'll have it covered both here on the Red Sox news feed and in our weekly Red Sox Beat podcast, which you can find at the brand new clnsmedia.com. There's also over 40 podcasts along with audio and written news and recaps from the Red Sox, Celtics, Bruins, and Patriots. That's clnsmedia.com. And this was Adam Blue for CLNS.